the Lord. I thank God for this beautiful morning that God has given us. It is praise and it is good to thank God, to praise God that He gave us a life the whole week that He gave us a life and also He helped us what we need. He provide us and also He, he helped us when we are weak, when we need His help, He strengthen us and He comfort us. He give us the peace that we need. So let us praise God through songs. Before that, let us look to Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time that you have given us. Thank you for the love that you have bestowed in our life, Lord. Thank you for deliver us from the evil and dangerous harm and allowing us to see this beautiful morning, to praise your name, to glorify your name. We thank you for your love, the blessing that you have done in our life, the blessing that you have bestowed in our life. We thank you for each and everything that you have done in our life. And this time we are going to glorify your name through songs, through your word. So I commit each and every one. And also, Lord, we will stand here to lead your people to praise your name. So open our heart and our mind that we could able to sing, we could able to praise your name through our heart, through our mind, through our strength, Lord. We thank you for each and everything. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please all stand. Turn our Bible, Psalm number 146, verses 1 and 2. Psalm number 146, verses 1 and 2. Let me read for all of us. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Through this scripture, may God bless us. Let's continue to sing Majesty Song.
Go banana.
give us this time to worship you name lord and you help us and bless us that we could worship your name so thank you god now we are going to listen to you what a lot so help us to understand and i commit such you so in your mighty hand to lord so pray um, help him and that he can speak your word a lot and that and he can make us understand a lot help him god i commit each of us in your mighty hand i pray in the name of jesus christ amen what to everyone i thank god for this wonderful opportunity god has given to each and every each and every one of us so before we look to word of god let's look to the lord in prayer Dear God, we thank you, we love you for this time that you have given to us. We thank you for your faithfulness throughout the day. You have been so kind to us, Lord, as we come here to meditate on the word, Lord. Father, we pray that, Lord, you speak to us and help us to know you more and more, Lord. And help me to speak for the entire will and purpose, Lord. Committing myself in this hour in Germany. We are also praying in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So today I would like to talk to the on the topic of how can a servant of God be cleansed from a youthful lust? How can a young servant can be cleansed from a youthful lust? I talk about Text from Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty-two to verse twenty-six. Let me read for every one of every one of us. Flee also look youthful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But avoid foolish and arrogant disputes, knowing that the generate strip and a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but a gentle to all. Today, I like to speak on the topic of how a young servant of God be flee from the youthful lust. How can a young servant of God can be free from a youthful lust? I have talked out the Bible verse from Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty-two to twenty-six. Let me read for every one of us. Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty-two to twenty-six. Twenty-two. Flee also look youthful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith love peace with those who call on the lord out of a pure heart but avoid foolish and arrogant disputes knowing that they generate strip and a servant of the lord must not quarrel be a gentle to all about this patient in humbly correcting those who are in opposition if god perhaps who grant them repeated repented so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their sins and escape the snare of the devil and having being taken captive by him to do his will so we know that the second Timothy was written by the apostle Paul and this is a second letter that wrote to a young Timothy who is serving as a pastor in the church of Ephesus so Paul want to encourage as a young person serving in the church of God that Paul knowing the fact that the struggle that Timothy faced so he really want to encourage a young Timothy that to flee from a youthful lust. So Paul says in 
in chapter 2 verse 22 flee also youthful loss so Paul encourages a young Timothy that to avoid to flee from a youthful loss in verse 23 we see that Paul encourages a young Timothy to Paul encourages a young Timothy to avoid certain things. In verse 20, 23, we find that avoid foolish and arrogant disputes. Paul encourages a young Timothy that to avoid to stop doing a foolish things and arrogant disputes, arguing for the useless sake, knowing knowing that they general and strength. So, Paul wants this young Timothy who serve in the church of Ephesus to avoid quarreling with others, to avoid a foolish discussions with others, to avoid a, a arguments with others that doesn't bring any profit to the Lord. And in verse 24 also says, And the servant of the Lord must not quarrel but be gentle. So Paul encouraged encourage a young Timothy that to be a gentle rather to be a problem maker or a quarrelsome in the church. Paul encourages a young Timothy that should be a gentle, humble in every ways rather than to be a, a boastful in serving the Lord. And also it says and able in 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 it it should also be able to teach in patience. So many of the peoples or many of the servants of God they 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 are lacking of able to teach. So Paul knowing the fact that a, the person who led the church of God must be a able to teach. So Paul encourages a young Timothy that he should able to teach in all ways, defending the false teachings, defending the errors that arose within the church, and be patient in all things. So we, as as we are young, as we are serving the Lord, and as we are equipping ourselves to serve the Lord, so I encourage us you all to avoid the lustful, a youthful lust, to avoid the youthful lust. So youthful lust, which means is that when we are a young or as we are journey, as we are living on this earth as a youth, we find that there are times that arose and last, there are times that comes temptation. So the the Bible says that He want uh, God want us to avoid those things. And also, last is that a strong desires of a sexual or a strong desire of a uh, immoral things to do, which is against God's will. So we should avoid those things, and we should able to put on. Paul says to avoid those things. Paul says to avoid uh, avoid quarreling. Paul says of foolish arguments to avoid. Paul says that we should not quarrel. But a servant of God must do, or a young servant of God that must do is he should pursue righteousness. He should pursue righteousness. He should pursue faith, he should pursue love, he should pursue peace with those who call on the Lord out of pure heart. A servant of God must have a heart to serve, a have a desire that he should serve in God's in God's ministry. He should able to have the willingness 
to serve in God's ministry. He should not be a, a thinking that it is a compulsory to do or it is a duty. He should not think a servant of God. A servant of God must serve the Lord from his willingness, from his uh, heart, from his pure heart. So, as we are young, as we are youth life, as we are living on this earth, the world is full of evil. The Bible says that the days are evils. So we, we need to be careful. Which means that the days are evil means we are living in the difficult times. There are so much of advance in technology and and we have seen throughout the world that uh, different kinds of temptations that arose in our life that we should be saturated with the word of God we should dwell or we should connect with the Lord so that we can be able to avoid the lustful uh, the youthful lust and and we, we need to we need to surrender to God. We need to come before God and ask a help that we can move on. That we can move on. Relying all our problems, relying all our strength, relying all our ability to God, knowing that only God can help us to overcome the youthful loss, knowing that only God can give us an ability to overcome the temptations so i want to encourage this very morning to every one of us is that let us avoid a youthful lust there may be a temptations come in our life there may be a struggles or there may be a, a point of time that comes in our life that to fall into a temptations but let's keep reminding ourselves that there there is God hand to help us. We need to call out to God with, from our pure heart so that God help us. So in Psalm 119 verse 9, we says that how can a young man cleanse his way? As a youth, how can we cleanse? How can we avoid a worldly things? How can we uh, forsake the things of the world? It says in Psalms 119 verse 9 is that by taking heed into the word of God. We need to meditate God's word. We need to depend on God's word. And we need to read God's word every day each day of our life. So that we can, so that we can able to overcome the temptation. We can overcome the youthful lust that it comes to our life. By taking heed and meditating and having a close relationship with God can only overcome the youthful lust. So I urge you, my fellow brethren, that let's take heed to the word of God so that we can flee from the youthful lust. May God bless you and use you for His glory. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you and love you for your faithfulness that you have given to us. Lord, as we have wandered on thy word, Lord, help us to be a, not only be a hearer, but also be a doer of thy words, Lord. Help us to practice in our life and help us to be a fruitful servant that live in this very generation, Lord, Father. And let the name be glorified, Lord. We commit ourselves and the person which we have meditated in thy presence and to mighty. We ask and pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.